Hey guys, Will here with Into Mobile. We are taking a look at Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Well, really what we're taking a look at here is on the left we have the Nexus 1 and on the right we have the Nexus S. And I want to show you guys exactly what makes Gingerbread stand out. Uh, what makes it tick and what makes it so much better than Android 2.2 Froyo? Well, first of all, you start off with the home screen, right? Well, they both have live wallpapers, but the Nexus S actually gives you some additional live wallpapers that I'm going to show you right now. Um, it's got this new thing, of course this Nexus um, live wallpaper you've seen. This Microbes is actually a new one. And what it does is, um, where, wherever you, uh, you tap on the screen, it spawns, you can see those little white dots, it spawns food for these Microbes, and these Microbes gather around the food, they eat the food, they grow bigger, they grow brighter, you know, they separate, they multiply, and then I think, I'm not sure exactly what happens, but they probably die or something, but yeah, it looks like they're eating them, right? I'm just going to put some more food here, and all those microbes are going to gravitate to that point. That is not on the Nexus S. Um, so, okay, whatever. I'll set that as my live wallpaper. That's just the beginning, though, right? Take a look at the notification bars on top. You'll notice here we have a white, kind of grayish white. It's whatever. It's a light color. It's a light color uh, background, right? And it shows you uh, everything that uh, missed calls, your text messages, uh, voicemails, you know, your email notifications, all that in the notification bar, right? Well, in Gingerbread, you see all the same stuff, but it's got a slightly different uh, aesthetic. You have the black bar up here, which actually um, falls off the edge and looks like it's part of the screen rather than a actual bar that you see on uh, Froyo, you, you don't really see a bar, it's just an area where you get notifications. You pull down that area and you get the same notifications, right? Voicemail, uh, app updates, email, stuff like that. Notice also there's a color difference, right? We have the uh, the reception, the signal uh, signal bars here and the 3G uh, little icon are in white, whereas on Gingerbread, the, the reception and the uh, Wi-Fi as well as the battery are all in green. Um, kind of a brighter green than is used on Froyo, as you can see here. If you compare the two greens, the gingerbread green seems to be a little brighter. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, it could actually be the AMOLED uh, uh, display that we're looking at here on the right side. Uh, for your information, both screens are set to full brightness, no auto brightness or anything like that, that just so you guys can see um, what we're dealing with on a hardware level in, in, in terms of difference between the Nexus S and the Nexus One. Um, okay, so what else? Well, take a look down here. You'll notice the launcher is slightly updated. Here you have the same, you got the, the three grid um, button, soft buttons, the phone, apps, and browser. On Gingerbread, you've got the same phone, apps, and browser, but they're, they're, they've are they been colored green to kind of fall in line with the rest of the UI. Um, oh, and there's the other difference, right? When you turn it off, when you turn off Gingerbread, it kind of has that old school boob tube TV feel. Choo! Like that. You, you almost expect the sound. The choo! And turning off. Um, that's a cool little feature, and that's what a gingerbread is all about. It's all about these little features that you don't really notice, um, say, for example, in market. These little features that you don't really notice but actually make a big difference in terms of everyday usability. It's still the same Android market for the most part, right? Yeah. So we have Froyo here and gingerbread here. The Android market looks very similar. Um, kind of the only real differences are going to be... Um, the the UI, right? Notice when I pull this bar up, it's a blacker bar. And uh, uh, apparently that, that might actually save some power on an AMOLED display because you don't have to power these pixels. Um, not sure exactly about that, but that does sound right to me. Notice you have search, downloads, and help, same stuff, but different UI aesthetic. It's Froyo here, Gingerbread here. Okay, taking a look at that, good stuff. Um, let's see, what else is there? Ah, and in scrolling. So when I scroll here to the end of the list, it just takes me to the end and it just stops me. No real fancy animations or anything, it just stops me at the end of that list, right? Well, on Gingerbread it's been a slight, it's been slightly refined and these are the small little tweaks that really go a long way in terms of usability. As soon as you hit that bump stop down there, you'll see a, a little, little orange, I don't know if it's going to come out on video here, but you'll see a little orange uh, line pop up down there letting you know that you've hit, you've hit the end of the list. Shows up a little bit right there. I hope you guys can see that. Um, okay, so going back to the home screen, what else is new? Well, let's take a look at the browsers. The browsers are basically the same, but there have been a couple tweaks that make the Gingerbread browser a little faster. Um, I can't really show you this on video, but um, scrolling around, uh, you will notice a little bit of a difference. It seems that scrolling does is a little faster and more accurate on Gingerbread. Um, I don't know what it is exactly, but uh, it does feel a little better. You can, you'll can you notice faster scrolling speeds, less jerky, stuff like that. Um, 
overall the browser is the same though. You'll see all the aesthetics are the same, except of, of course when you pop up the menus. Again, white here, black here. So the new black aesthetic kind of prevails, is predominant there. And um, as far as apps go, one cool app that's new is downloads. You have a download manager in Gingerbread. So basically when I go to the web and say I want to save a picture, instead of that picture going and saving and, you know, okay, when I go to this and say I want to save this picture, I'm going to long press on the picture. It's going to give me options. I'm going to, sh I'm going to save the picture, save image right there. And it's going to start downloading. It says starting downloading, starting download, and you should see the download notification pop up up there. And it's going to say downloading here. It's ongoing, right? So that's 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 nothing new. We've seen that in in Froyo. What's new though is you can go, and I'm going to actually long press on home to bring up my recent apps, which is not new. This is in Froyo as well. But you see the new downloads app is right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap that downloads app, and it takes me to my downloads. So today I downloaded that, and the last seven days I downloaded an Gadget Podcast. And what you can do here is you can arrange, you can manage your 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 downloads. You can clear selection, you can delete clear selection, or sort by size and resource them. Or you can sort by um, if you already sorted by size, you can sort by time, and then you get the day layout like so. Um, and let's say I want to delete this, I want to delete this. I'm just going to go there. I'm going to hit delete. Having a little bit of trouble because the screen is on full brightness. It's almost overwhelming the camera. I'm going to hit delete down here and those are gone. So there's the download manager. Nice, pretty cool. What else is cool is notice here when I when I bring set, uh, menu up from the home screen, you get these set uh, menu options which are which are not any different, but when I go to Gingerbread, I have one more option. That one more option being manage apps. You see that? So I hit the manage apps and I'm going to basically my applications manager. So Gingerbread has a built-in um, um, applications manager in the menu options on the home screen. Um, what can you do? Well, it tells you your internal storage right here. And it's got a cool little graphic, like all these are flowing into your memory here. The aesthetic is kind of cool. Um, 131 megabytes used out of 877 megabytes free. I can scroll through all my apps like this. I can scroll through my downloaded apps like this. I can figure out which of these apps are on USB storage and which of them I want on USB storage. And remember that that orange bar I was talking about, when you scroll to the end of the list, it wasn't really showing up on the Android market because it's set against the white background, but it's more visible here against the black background. Pretty cool. Um, I can move any of these apps to the USB, to the USB storage just by uh, checking all that box, move to USB storage right there. I'm not going to do that for this one, but I can also see running apps. And that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and another one of the major changes in Android 2.3 Gingerbread is the text uh, selection tool. Um, be before, well, let me show you how it works before. Okay, so we're going to go here, and we're going to go for uh, some searches like uh, gingerbread. Uh-oh, well, I misspelled gingerbread, right? I'll go into this format so you guys can see better. Well, how do I correct it? Well, I can long press, and then I'm going to go to select text. And when I do that, I can drag to select, and I'm going to correct it, right? Okay, well, if we do that here, notice the new UI. Um, again, more orange and black, darker colors, right? This is all trimmed in white. This guy is all trimmed in black with the orange words. Well, here we go. So I'm going to do gingerbread. Well, of course I meant gingerbread, right? Okay, well, how do I fix that? I'm going to go here and look. Without even long press, without even a long press, just tapping on the screen brings up this little text selection tool. And with this text selection tool, I can go place my cursor over here and simply update that, F, delete that F and change it to a B. Or let's say I want to get rid of more. I'm going to go to... Sel uh, select word, and I can change pieces of that word. I can use this text selection tool to actually make a different word right there. Or, again, I'm just going to tap. I'm going to move the cursor to where I want and delete. That's, that's, that's all new stuff. So, cool. That's, uh, that's a nice little new feature of Gingerbread right there. Okay, so what else is, uh, what else is different? Let's see. Um, if we go into Apps, we'll find that, of course, that phone, but also the, the downloads, but also phone. The phone icon has changed too. Again, green here. But a new app is tags. Okay, what is this tags? I'm going to delete this just so we can go back to um, 
just go. We can go back to stock. What is Tags? Tags is a new uh, is a new Google uh, loc uh, NFC app that basically helps you read NFC stickers like this. Okay, so Google sent us this NFC, NFC sticker. This is part of the Google Hot Pot program where uh, businesses will get stickers with NFC uh, chips inside. You put this on your business window and when people come in with, say, an XSS or any smartphone with a near-field communications chip, an NFC chip, you just basically go up to the, to the sticker and you tap it. And as soon as you tap it, it's going to wirelessly read the chip and the info on the chip is linking us to a YouTube video. And this YouTube video is going to pop up in the, well, there you have it, a brand new YouTube player. Um, I'll compare that. And right now, what, what do we have here? We can, uh, we can go to more options to uh, flag, share, save, copy the URL. We can like it or we can down thumbs it. I'm going to like it right there. I'm going to go on the up thumb. And uh, you have all this info down here. You have the up thumb, sorry, right there. You have all this info down here about the video. And you can swipe through the video. You can click on the tab or you can swipe back, whichever, right? And you can either double tap on the video to go full screen, or you can just ro so rotate. So double tap to go full screen, right? Okay. Or you simply just rotate to go full screen. Either way, you can do that and throughout all of YouTube videos. But um, so basically, this is a couple demos. Piggyback onto one. That's NFC. That's how the new uh, YouTube player on Gingerbread, as well as uh, the new UI. In comparison, you'll see in Froyo, the YouTube player is decidedly different. Not so much different that it won't be, it'll be foreign to you, but it's noticeably different. Okay, so that's a quick little look at Android 2.3 Gingerbread using a Nexus S. Hopefully, uh, we'll get to see more Gingerbread in the future for consumer devices. And uh, I'll leave you with this, the cool little log-off animation.